All right, today is day five. I just arrived at Tsukiji Fish Market in the morning just to stop by and see what it's about. It used to be a lot bigger. What happened was they removed the essentially the indoor part and moved it to a really nice building in Toyosu, which is actually where I slept at, but I don't want to stop by because after seeing how it looks like online, it just looks like a mall, a mall of food, and it's like I'm not going to spend that much money. And it's all local stuff, which is great, but you know, why do that when I can support the other local businesses that still remain outside? So I'll show you what it looks like. This is the part of the Tsukiji Fish Market which remained, which is the Jogai side or outside side. So this is what it looks like. It is really hype. I love this look. Reminds me of a lot of the markets in the Philippines, the wet markets or palenque in the Philippines. What's hype? I'm probably gonna get breakfast here, but we'll we'll go through here, find out. Not just food, they sell a lot of various other things. You can see they have so much fish. It's hype. It smells great, that's for sure. Ooh, they have puffer fish. They have kimchi too. They have green tea. I want stuff that's already prepared. I don't even know what it's called. Sushi Zanmai. I've heard of this place. Sushi Zanmai, but it's not open yet. I don't even plan on eating sushi for breakfast. Who would do that? Oh my, but it's frozen. Kitchen knives. Ooh, this looks good. I want to try this. There we go. Fresh stuff. Two fifty each. I'll try this. All right. So I just got some deep fried flounder for two fifty yen. Hopefully it fills me up. Um, most likely it won't. But I'll get something else. And my biggest fear is actually dropping this. No, no, no. Bro, oh, bro, no. that is so no, good. No. That is so no. good. Um. Here's you can try some of Japanese's highest grade beef. This usually sells for an extremely expensive price at a restaurant, but you can get like a little sample here. One place I'm trying to search for specifically are the uni buns or sea urchin buns. So far I've not found them. I don't know the name of the store. A lot of frozen fish stuff here. Really good prices. Can't beat them. If you do, I'll kill you. Here are some preserved Seafoods, you can see the dried squid and such. This isn't exactly the sea urchin bun, but these are sea urchins. Oh, I heard about this. This one has the oysters. Those oysters are really good, but I do not think it's gonna fill me up for 500 yen. We got squid on skewers. We have salmon roe. More dried seafoods. You know, I think <laughs> either I missed it or I just I don't know where it is, man. I have no idea where these uni buns are. I'll keep looking, I won't give up. It's like, I could ask someone where they sell it, but that's kind of rude. I don't want to ask a competitor. Oh, where do your competitors sell their jank? I'm trying to, I'm trying to kill your business, bruh. Nah, bruh. Nah. But for real, jokes aside, I don't really think there's any competitors here. Everybody looks like they're friends. Like, stores in front of each other, you know, stores across from each other, things like that. Like, they all are talking to each other, all really friendly. Not really any competitors here, it's just, they're just trying to make a living. I mean, they're, they're easily making a living, because this is a hot tourist spot. Ooh, man, and they making money, bro. Where? I think I missed it. Well, I know I'm getting closer, man. Actually, I feel like I'm getting farther. This is more frozen, uncooked stuff. I will find it. I will kill it. Uni buns. Uni buns. Hello there, buddy. Oh, well, that's a little graphic. I wanna try an uni bun. If I can't find an uni bun, well, there's not really a point of trying just uni because I've already tried it. As you can probably remember from night three or two, I might give up at this point because it's not that I want to regret not doing something. It's just that I don't really have the time with myself to look for it. Mm, I'll find it. I'm trying to eat, spend my 500 yen, put all that seaweed. At first I was a little reserved and taking videos, but then I see a lot of other gaijins doing the same and they're more obnoxious about it. Nope, nothing here. Look at that. Yeah, I think I've exhausted all my <laughs> options. I can't really find anything. I was about to give up, but something in my gut told me not to give up. I'm still looking. As it turns out, that whole area was actually just for ramen, so... Pro tip, don't hesitate to ask the information desk, because they helped me. Now I know which way to go. I got a map. The place is actually called Hamada. So we're gonna go... There. Told you, man. I almost spent my 500, but I didn't want to give up. So the sea urchin buns, Japanese name is Uniman, and you can kind of guess which part means sea urchin and which part means bun. So glad Hama does at the corner there. I know exactly which one it is. It should be that right there. This is Hamada. Yes, it's right here. I, how did I miss this? It's literally right in front of my face, bro. It's right here. 
I have obtained the uni bun, bro. We're finally gonna try it. I'm kind of working against gravity right now, but here it is. You can see the, I just took one bite, and here's the uni on top, and the uni cream is inside. That uni cream is what really makes this bun. Here it is, man. You can see it in better detail. There's the uni cream. So good. You can see it's seething, bro. If you're smart like me, you'll have a plastic bag harnessed from your backpack or a trash can, because as some of you may know, there's not that many trash cans in Japan. And who do I have to thank for trying the uni bun? This dude right here. All right, I obtained what I came here for. Time to head back. So the actual plan for today is to go to um, Yokohama. I'm gonna sound really obnoxious for saying this, but um, there was an American who was like eating some strawberry mochi and they passed by Hamada and they saw the sea urchin bun and then the mom was like, you wanna try it? And then she was like, no, I don't wanna try that. Like, I don't know why she had to sound so disgusted, bro. It's just sea urchin, but to each their own, you know? I, I mean, I'd never, I didn't try the woodworm Bruh. in the Philippines. So, <laughs> I guess I'm a little guilty of things like that. I just, no, you know what? It's not that I didn't want to try it. The woodworm is that I was actually getting a stomach ache around that time. May sound like an excuse, but I'm not trying to eat some high protein, you know? This was back in 2015. I don't even know why I'm telling this story. Uh, and everybody... Got... Hmm. Bruh. And we have arrived in Yokohama. But I left from the Sakura Icho station instead of the Yokohama station because it is closer to the landmark tower which you can see from here. Um, so we're gonna go ahead from what it looks like Yokohama is like a, a busy urban area. Just a lot of people. I mean not that busy urban area. It's like it's not super crowded. It's chill. A lot of malls, a lot of skyscrapers. Yokohama is beautiful. I'm going to ride that also. It's on my list. Ooh, look at that, bro. Just take the stairs. There are no tourists here, which means I'm gonna look stupid. I'm so sorry, Yokohama residents slash visitors. 69th floor has, I, I didn't laugh because it's 69, I just laughed because, all right, let me start over. The 69th floor has the sky garden, which I plan on going to, to the thousand yen. I guess I could go right now, I mean. All right, I'm on my way to the sky garden. Compared to Roppongi's tower, expensive, bro. Yes, yeah, so I'm the only one here right now, just waiting for that elevator. The landmark tower's sky garden boasts Japan's fastest elevator, reaching the 273 meter 69th floor in just under 40 seconds. All right, and we're here. Look at this. This dude is working hard on the 69th floor, but he's just cleaning. The maintenance is insane, bro. I would be scared to death, but you know what? I've been around this high in the Philippines, so it ain't no thing. Here you can see the beautiful view. Um, it's amazing, I'm, I'm speechless. It's like an entire bay and then the entire city, bro. There was a list of specific like landmarks that you can see from here. Oh, there's a sky tree you can actually see from here. I fix that explosion. Sorry, I don't have my camera, camera. But hey, look. Oh my goodness, look at that view, look at that view, look at that. So here you can see the view, it's beautiful. I'm still on the first side. I haven't even looked at the other side yet. So a lot of uh, photographers with really nice cameras. And here's the Sky Gardens Tower Shop. It has a lot of stuff, and I forgot to mention this, but there's they've been selling a lot of Tokyo 2020 merchandise, and these two are the mascots. You see them a lot, even if you're not in Tokyo. You're probably going to be seeing them for a while once the Olympics actually start. All these photos you can get, postcards and whatnot. Landmark Tower, shaped water bottle, some keychains.
Wow, I'm not even kidding. This second side is way better. You can see the mountains. You can see the bay. You can see the city. It's beautiful. Here you can see how it's changed since 1993. It wasn't this gigantic. Yokohama creates IV City Center. Yeah, here's the other side of the tower. You can see how beautiful this side is. I actually like this side better because you can still see the bay, but this time you can actually see the mountains. I wish I could say I could see Fuji. Not Fuji, but no. Nope. Bro, I'm in love with this view. Only $9, bro? Roppongi Hills Tower was like 20, and it's just a city. This is a lot better, and I'm pretty sure it's higher. I can look it up. Ball spotted. Bro, I know what I just said, but like, I'm blushing right now. That's my girlfriend right there. Right there. That's my girlfriend. Oh, that's hot. That's, 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 that's her. That's her. Speechless. I haven't seen Mount Fuji in five years. Last time I saw Mount Fuji was in 2015, the first time I went to Japan. Now that it's my third time, I feel like I deserve to see Mount Fuji again. My family's actually there right now. I'd rather save going to Mount Fuji. Kitty。若い人だから分かると思うんだけど、これ自社風持ってきたんだけど、例えばここに来て、来たって言ったらどこです。どうすればいい？来た。来たはどっち側かな？ As you can see the mountains, it's crazy man, he was so nice. You can't hear it but they're playing mad 2000s R&B bro. They've been playing nothing but like 2000s R&B. I can't even, like, I... And here's the closest view of Mount Fuji that I can get. I'm on the southwest side of the tower. There she is in all her beauty. Here's the rest of the view. See a little shrine over there. And with that, this draws the exhausted curtain on Yokohama part one of Winter Wandering. Like, comment, and subscribe for more vids like these. Nothing much, this dude is just working on the 69th floor, bro.